all about the clap back. Get your boss whack, premieres funeral on Snapchat. Ha! You now tuned into the bad guy. That's my dating spin, low rider sitting low, hitting corners so hard you can taste my ribs. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fisk. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, hit that sub button. All right, hit that sub button. Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough. Also, I'm trying to get the 200 likes, man. We, I got to step my like game up around these parts, all right? So hit that like button. Let's get to 200 likes on this video, man. I know y'all rock with me harder than the one, so this shouldn't be a problem on the Saints video to get 200 likes, man. So make sure y'all hit that like button while y'all commenting and doing all the other stuff. With that being said, though, <sighs> shout out to my man, Jameis. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jameis. Y'all know I'm a big Jameis fan. I thought getting Jameis Winston... Um, two years ago was like the biggest offseason move of the decade because you know like we all knew Drew Brees is, was on his last legs which is why he's retired you know what I'm saying and it's just like the Saints it's like for y'all to go get a quarterback who was a first round pick five years ago and get a quarterback who threw for 5,000 yards and 30 touchdowns it's like that's going to be an heir apparent to Brees a lot of teams and y'all put situation, don't get that opportunity because you win too much. Saints stay winning the division. So it's like, and another thing, the Saints won the division last year with Tom Brady in that bitch. All right, because, you know, y'all remind people, you know, everybody was shocked yesterday that the Saints won. I'm like, you know, I went and shocked. I ain't think they would win because, you know, the offense ain't what it used to be, but I went and shocked. It, was, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, the upset of the century. Nah, man, the Saints always put work in against the damn Buccaneers. But nah, like back to back on top of it, though. So when you got a team like the Saints that wins this division for like, what, the last five? When's the last time y'all didn't win the division? Y'all won the division in the Adrian Peterson season. What, at least four straight seasons, at least. So y'all not going to get a chance. At a top five quarterback talent like the the Trey Lances and the Ro and the um Zach Wilsons and the, the Lawrences and the Mac Joneses and shit, y'all not gonna suck enough to get that pick. So for y'all to fall into Jameis, I'm sitting back like you know, that's a blessing. And even now, I know he didn't have the best season. He was winning games, but he wasn't having the best season. But the thing with Jameis is, I say it every chance I get, whether it's on a live stream or if I'm doing the Saints video and I'm shitting on the offense, I always said, I'm not judging Jameis until Michael Thomas comes back. The problem is, Michael Thomas ass ain't came back yet. So we never got a chance to see what Jameis can do with Michael Thomas. I firmly believe in just Michael Thomas' presence alone, that 10 catches a game, that opens up Kamara, that opens up Traquan and Galloway like that, Callaway, that opens them dudes up, man. Not having Michael Thomas there, I feel like it just flatlines this offense. You need that number one receiver to get to, to take the pressure off Kamara. You need that number one receiver to, get, to, to take the pressure off them collection and number two receivers y'all got. So it's like, we never even got a chance to see what Jameis could really do in this offense, which is a shame. You feel me? Because Jameis is a good guy, man. And I'm sure y'all have grown to love Jameis over the past couple months. Or should I say the past year and a half or so. So, you know, we're going to miss Jameis. And, you know, Jameis is the mean king. If there's, if there's a memeable moment, Jameis found a way to be in it. Like, last night, he had a video. The video went viral. A Jameis dancing on the crutches, bro, doing a celebration. <laughs> yo, how you not love Jameis, man? Like, yo, there's no way you can't love Jameis. If you ain't a Jameis fan, I want to know why, man. How can you not like Jameis Winston? My man was getting busy on crutches. My man was dancing, getting busy on a torn ACL, bro. 
It didn't even matter. Jameis said, nah, we're going to celebrate this bitch. You know what I'm saying? We're going to eat that W tonight, baby. So, you know, I, look, I'm going to miss Jameis. I don't know where his career goes from here at this point because... I don't know, man. Because he tears his ACL in November. No, well, October 31st. That's a year-long recovery. I mean, well, I don't know. Joe Burrow tore his in what in, in November, right? Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow tore his ACL in November. But the thing with Joe Burrow was Joe Burrow was guaranteed a spot on the team. I don't think Jameis is guaranteed a starting spot next year. So we'll see. You know, I think Trevor Simeon will actually be fine. You know what I'm saying? I actually, <laughs> I actually think Trevor Simeon will be fine for like a week until Taysom Hill comes back. I don't know when Taysom Hill coming back. Dude been out since week five with a concussion. I don't know where the hell Taysom Hill is. But, you know, this is where Sean Payton earns his money at. This is where he earns his reputation of being Mr. Top 5 all-time coordinator and all this other shit, all the accolades that you associate with Sean Payton. This is where you earn that rep at. So we're going to see what he could cook up for Taysom Hill. Hey, you know, the universe is, a, is funny. The universe has a funny way of working things out. He finally gets his wish. Taysom Hill is going to be the unquestioned starter in New Orleans for the remainder of the season. So now Sean Payton gets, gets his wish. He got his wish. Now, let's see if he can flip it. Let's see if he can make it flip. Let's see if he can get it done. Let's see if he can turn this into wins, maybe even a championship. We'll see. Let's see what Taysom Hill got. Sean Payton got his wish. Not the way he probably wanted to, but now he can play Taysom Hill and not have to worry about, oh, well, Jameis is there. Taysom isn't looking too good. Should have put Jameis in. Nope. He ain't got to worry about that. Jameis ain't there. Ain't nobody going to cry for Trevor Simeon. Now, I know Trevor Simeon got the dub yesterday. I get it. I mean, you know, we we appreciate your services. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're we not about to throw a fit because Taysom Hill stinking up the joint. We're not about to chant Trevor Simeon in the crowd. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're not going to do. So, you know, Taysom Hill can go out there and play loosey-goosey and not have to play mistake-free because he ain't got to worry about people being yanked for Trevor Simeon. So, this is a blessing and a curse. Now, let's see what the kid got. It's time to find out. It's time to put up a shut up with the whole take some hill shit. It's time to put up a shut up. He going to have his chance the remainder of the season to put up a shut up. Let's see what he got. But that's it. That's all. And when the hell is Michael Thomas coming back? Can somebody in the comment section tell me when the hell Michael Thomas is coming back? Because he's sitting on my fantasy team hogging up an IR spot right now. Somebody tell me when the hell Michael Thomas is coming back. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you rock it with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.